Welcome back to Just Scribble for an unboxing of Chic Sparrow's Traveler's Notebook Starter Kit. Now, truth be told, this is actually the second time I filmed this video, or at least the intro part of this video, because I was filming and got interrupted. Now I'm coming back and doing it again. So I actually have seen the cover that I got, but I did want to share with you guys, so I am refilming my video and we are going to check this out together. So the Traveler's Notebook Starter Kit is something new from Chic Sparrow that they launched a couple of weeks ago, and it's kind of the perfect way to get started in a traveler's notebook and it's also perfect for those of you that really love the traveler's company standard size traveler's notebook because this traveler's notebook is actually in that sizing and styling instead of the sizing of the normal chic sparrow standard traveler's notebook so this kit retails at $112.98 but is currently on sale for $94.99 and it comes in the Austin leather in four different color options so it comes in Darcy which is pretty much everyone's favorite classic toffee brown color. It comes in Emma, which is what I ordered, which is their kind of undyed color. It's not undyed, but it's a similar tone and color to a lot of undyed covers. It comes in Drummond, which is a nice burgundy. If you saw my second part two video of my Passport Plus unboxing color of Diego that I got is very similar to Drummond, so you can check that out if you want to see the color. And it comes in Moreland, which is their jet black color. So this kit comes with everything that you need to get started with a traveler's notebook. So I'm going to open it up so we can check it out. Warranty card, as always. I'm going to set that aside. This is the cover in the dust bag. Oh, even though I've already seen it, I'm still gushing because it's so pretty. I just absolutely love Emma. It is my favorite leather. Let me move my packing slip out of the way. So it does come with a classic size traveler's notebook. I'm going to turn it this way so you guys can see it. The edges are burnished. It has these slits here by the holes that helps the elastic not pull on your leather when you have your inserts in and it is a classic style single elastic like that and then it has a back closure so the rest of she's Sparrow's travelers notebooks the closure elastic is on the side this is very much in line with the travelers company style so it is a classic no pocket no frills with a back elastic closure that's probably the thing that i like least about that's it that's one of the reasons why i'm not a huge fan of the travelers company passport and standard travelers notebooks i don't like a back closure elastic as much as i like a side closure elastic for me it's just not as comfortable to open and close. But I did want to check this out and I'm excited to have a classic from Chic Sparrow in this size. It is a single strap, like a very thin one because I've accumulated quite a few standard size inserts and notebooks over the last, uh, I guess, six months or so when I started trying out this size because it is because it is a newer to me size. And so I have a classic cover from Sojourner, which I absolutely love. And then I have a folio style from Hand Stitch Leather Tea. And those are the only standard size traveler's notebooks or folios that I have. And so now I have a Chic Sparrow, and I didn't really want one of their standard traveler's notebooks because I didn't want that many elastics. In this particular size, I really like simple and compact. So I'm excited that this is a single. It obviously would make me a little bit happier if it was a side closure, but I understand that this is sort of a classic design and a specialty item. Now this one did come with white elastic, but it also came in the kit with a brown closure elastic already barbed. If you haven't seen these, they put barbs on their closure elastic because it helps the elastic stay kind of flush to the leather so that that way you don't have a bump where your inserts are. I actually started doing this on my folios and covers and I have a video on this and then I don't know how long after. After that, uh, She Sparrow started doing it as well. It's really easy to do yourself if you have some traveler's notebooks from other companies or you have some older Chic Sparrows before they started doing that or you're just changing out your elastic. I do have a video on how to do that so I can post that up above. But it did come with an extra one already barbed for you. 
and then it came with extra elastic so you could restring if you preferred brown elastic i probably won't use either of these and i probably will restring it because i like to use my pretty decorative elastic from illustring that's kind of my favorite thing and my style so i will probably be changing out the elastic i don't know if all of them come with the different elastic i would bet that it's just the emma for people that prefer brown instead of the white so i don't think that the drummond or the darcy or the moreland will come with an extra set but it might it doesn't say in the listing so i'm not 100 percent sure but with my emma it did but what you get is a single strand full grain leather traveler's notebook in a classic design in standard size and then you also get your dust bag and you get a dashboard and a grid notebook from Chic Sparrow. So I have a few of their notebooks. Actually, I think I have one in every size because I bought them so that I can do, I'm starting a website and I wanna do a blog post for you guys on paper sizing and notebook sizes. And so I have them all because I wanted to be able to use them for photos. Their inserts are really nice. They have a nice cardstock cover. It's sort of soft. And then the color of the cover depends on the size that you buy of their inserts. So the standard is this light sort of robin's egg blue. And then it is a dot grid insert. It's a really nice paper. And so you get this insert and the dashboard. The dashboard looks like this and you put decorative paper inside there to wrap around your insert so that it looks pretty or to decorate it for a specific season. You can also use these functionally. So I often use these to stick things in and I will actually stick clear adhesive pockets here, usually on either the inside or the back. And then I use those for more function, like to hold stickers or post-it notes or something like that. I really like using dashboards in my traveler's notebooks because I can decorate because I can decorate and customize them and it makes it look pretty, but it also protects my insert and then it adds some function too. So your notebook just slides on the elastic like that. And then you have your closure like that and it's nice and slim, but you can actually jump band. So I don't have a jump band on me. I actually don't know. I have like a whole set of jump bands. I don't know where they're at, but you know what? We'll use this temporarily. So I do have a video actually like a tutorial on how to make your own jump bands. And so I will put a link to that up above as well. So you guys can check it out. It's super easy. And if you have a traveler's notebook that only has one string or it has multiple elastics but you want to chunk it up even more you can use a jump band to add additional inserts to your traveler's notebook so let me grab i have this insert this from the stationery selection and oida letterpress and it's in a clear cover i buy these on jet pens they're in standard size and they're just notebook covers for your standard traveler's notebook inserts and so i have that and I have this insert from them, but let me grab another insert or notebook real quick. Okay, so what I had handy was a simple grid notebook from Aura Stella and Annie Plans. I actually have a video on these in my Notebooks Attic unboxing playlist, but that's what I had handy, so that's what we're gonna use. So I'm going to put this in the center, and so normally when you put an insert or a notebook, you put it on your elastic like that, and you could actually use this in here and it works perfectly but say you wanted three whether this is a thicker notebook like this or it's just inserts and so maybe you wanted one insert that was your monthly insert for planning you wanted one insert that was your weekly spreads for planning and then you wanted one insert that was for dailies or for journaling and you only have one elastic you can jump band them so that you can carry them together so to jump band them you would normally use a jump band which oops which is better than using what I'm gonna test with you guys just because I don't have a jump band handy. But your jump band basically goes with that. And if you make them, you won't have the knot and the extra. And so you stick it in your insert like that. And then you take your second insert and you find 
your center or as close to the center as you can. And you stick that one in there as well so that that way they are together on one elastic. You can see that. And then you take those and you slide them back behind the one that you put on the elastic there. And it holds them all together. Now it will work a little bit better when you had a true jump band and you didn't have this like knot there, but it works even that way with the little knot. And then now you have three together. It does work better with three inserts instead of two inserts and a thicker notebook. I mean, you can do it this way, but I like to jump inserts better than notebooks. It's just that I didn't have another handy. And so you could fit three inserts in this traveler's notebook starter kit easily. So if you buy the starter kit, you get one insert from Chic Sparrow and one dashboard. Let's take this back out. And then your beautiful leather traveler's notebook. Everything you need to get started. And then you can very easily carry it just like that for your journal or your planner or whatever it is that you want. Or like I said, you can jump band and you can do three at once. You can also just carry two on the jump band and then you can put your dashboard in the center. Like I have this dashboard. This is from Cat Spresso Co. They are my favorite like jelly covers and things like that. And their dashboards have these little divots for your elastic. So if you wanted to just carry two inserts, you could actually put your Cat Spresso Co dashboard in the center and then do that same process of jump banding these together. I'll go ahead and put this back together. And then you could slide them behind oops, this dashboard and you could have two inserts with a dashboard in the center. So there's lots of ways that you could do this. I don't generally like just a dashboard as my center, but if you only needed two inserts or you only wanted two inserts, that is definitely an option for you. So you could definitely do that. But I just wanted to share this with you guys. I was really excited for these. I think it's a really neat idea to sell these little kits to get you started. It would make a really good gift for someone that you are wanting to introduce to Chic Sparrow and a traveler's notebooks. So if you had a friend or a family member that you thought could really use a traveler's notebook for their planner or their journal, this would make a wonderful gift for them. It's just enough to get them started. It's slim, it would fit nicely in their bag. It feels really good in the hand. It is the Chic Sparrow's like signature leather. It is their Austin leather and it is beautiful. And oh, I just love the Austin leather, especially Emma. She is definitely my favorite, but I wanted to share with you guys so you guys could check it out. I'm not personally a huge fan of the Traveler's Notebooks from Traveler's Company, partly because I really don't like the back elastic, but I just prefer the leathers from Chic Sparrow and Sojourner and Hand Stitched Leather Tee. They are just more me. And so I don't actually don't own any Traveler's Company Traveler's Notebooks. I have, I've bought them several times over the years, but I always end up just de-stashing them. But I'm excited to have this one from Chic Sparrow. So now I have a Sojourner in a classic style that has more elastics. I have this Chic Sparrow with the single elastic and then I have the Folio from Hand Stitched Leather Tee. So I have all of the different styles that I would possibly need for a standard size and plenty of cover options to use the inserts and notebooks that I've acquired in this size over the last six months or so. So that's my video on the Traveler's Notebook Starter Kit from Chic Sparrow. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to comment below and I will definitely get back with you. Make sure you give me a thumbs up if you liked this quick unboxing from Chic Sparrow. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss future videos and don't forget to just scribble.